Okay, so I got a little more progress done on the um, setting circles project. I have um, bodged on the little resistor, the pull-up resistor for uh, for uh, programming it. I confirmed I can program it. Um, so now the board matches the uh, modules in that it's got pull-ups in the uh, the right places. I've built myself a little um, interface cable for programming because I uh, messed up on the uh, header so I have to swap TX and RX from one end to the so I have to swap TX and RX from one end to the other so I've fixed that up and now let's see which I ground blacks ground yeah so it goes in like that so that makes that a little easier to program in my header. <clears throat> so that also meant that because I had to do some revisions on these in order to get the routing working right, I had to rewire the sensors that are actually mounted on the telescope. So those now match the pinouts on these. And because I'm changing the pinouts on that, and because I want to use this as the dev board, and I want to have this downstairs so that I can um, work on the uh, on the code while I have don't have to have a whole telescope downstairs here. I um, rewired my um, old mess of wires prototype into something that actually has reasonable um, R, uh, RJ45 connectors. So now I just have to. Uh, put back the strain relief that I had in here, just need a little more Lego, and I can, uh, I think, start working on programming these things again. Yeah, so that's, uh, that's the progress so far on this thing. And then it'll be updates on um, how the programming is going. I have a few things that I want to do. For one thing, I want to make sure that I've got a reasonable smoothing algorithm going that manages the um, jump from uh, 364 degrees to 365 degrees reasonably and does sensor smoothing for that. And in that, I think I might actually have to um, store a table of tan, arctan values in order to do that, and maybe even a table of sines and cosines in order to make it fast enough. But um, uh, we'll cross that bridge once we get to it. In any event, I think I have the hardware set up for doing the, uh, doing the next iteration of testing and coding on the digital setting circles. So yeah that is coming up. Okay, so I've got the encoders installed back into the telescope and I think it's going to work out just fine. That is going to work. I think sinking some some knobs into here to uh, clamp this board on, and actually I might integrate the uh, the encoders themselves into a housing right here, and could have a tip up screen with a user interface, a simple user interface, so that you can do things like record um, snapshots to the SD card. Um, Use it as a digital setting circles with a display. If you don't have um, a telus or a uh, an app on your phone to, to connect to, um, I think that that would be a useful little thing. Probably just tipped up a bit so that you can just glance down and see what what you've got. Yep, uh, I think that'll work. Okay, a little vlog about the uh, digital setting circles. The uh, board that I tried to make um, is a complete failure. Well, not a complete failure. I mean, I practiced making a, a circuit board, but um, it doesn't work. So um, it's 
exercise, as they say. Um, I think um, probably what's going wrong is I've got traces coming under here, and there's probably some um, uh, interference that's coming in on the plus three three volt line, and I've also got um, I forget what this um, trace is, but it uh, it goes through there. What is that? Uh, pull down to ground. Anyways. <clears throat> there's some traces under here and probably I have to get um, some separation between those traces so it's causing interference um, oh yeah also there's um, a serial uh, cable select line that comes in here um, Mosey, Miso, serial clock are all out but I've got my cable select lines coming through here so as those are triggered up and down it probably produces some sort of um, interference that is causing the board to reset anyways that's the uh, symptom so I have to redesign the board um, and so that means yeah, yeah, just toss it away <clears throat> have to redesign the board not like it didn't take me any time or anything like that but hey what else am I gonna do so I um, I reset the um uh the well i redeveloped my original board by um remember i had to for this board in order to make the routing work i had to um uh, change the pinouts on these connectors and so that means i had to rewire the original connectors and what actually went wrong was this um voltage regulator uh, I mean, this isn't in a case. I'm just prototyping it, and I use it. And I've been trying to not bump this thing, but, you know, every time you wiggle it, it's it, the leads get weaker and weaker, and stress causes weakness in the metal, and yeah. Oh. So anyways, I've redone this, and uh, so now I've got it back doing um, what it's supposed to be doing, which is, can we even see that? Uh, let me uh, lock. There we go. So now it's back doing what it's supposed to be doing. Um, and it's not as jittery as it was. So I don't, hmm, don't know how that happened. But um, now I think it's time to maybe plug it into the telescope and do some testing to see if the... Is it Andromeda? No, not yet. Um, do some testing to see if um, the multi-point alignment in the new version of Sky Safari does a better job of keeping this thing in line with the um, with my telescope. So I'll probably try and do a bit of that, but I I have to say that resoldering that um, board was not a lot of fun, and that gets pretty warm when you've got 12 volts going in there. When it's got five volts going on there in there, that doesn't get nearly as hot, but um, when you got 12 and it's got a dump, uh, what is that? Six volts? Yeah, seven volts. You, you get a bit of warm. Um, anyways, yeah, so I'll probably do that and uh, maybe uh, maybe take some video tomorrow night about um, how that actually goes. Yeah. Just a vlog. Vlog update. Moving along at a snail's pace, encountering all kinds of fun and, well, learning. Thanks for watching.